I'm Jennifer Mitchell with the St. Johns River Water Management District. Today we're going to make a rain gauge and learn how to use it. Here in Florida we get an average of 52 inches of rain throughout the year, but not all of that rain falls evenly throughout the year. With the rain gauge we can see how much rain falls at each time there's a rain event. For this activity you will be using a clear jar, tape, a marker, and a ruler. We're going to begin by taking a piece of tape and placing it on your clear jar just like this. Next you're going to take your ruler and your marker and make marks at the half inch increments just like this. I'll write the corresponding inch next to those lines. Placement of your rain gauge is really important. You want to make sure it's not under a tree or under your roof line so that the rain falls directly into the rain gauge. Then you can go and check how much rain has fallen into it after the next rain event. Looking at the skies, it looks like I might get to use my rain gauge sooner than I thought. With this information, you can use a calendar or create a rainfall journal to compare rainfall throughout the year. You could do some fun math activities such as comparing averages of rain on a monthly basis and see if you get that observable rainy season that we get in the summertime. Most of all, have fun with your rain gauge, compare your data with a friend's rain gauge, and enjoy this exciting activity. Remember, the rainfall replenishes that water in our Floridan aquifer. For more exciting activities like this one, check out our website at sjrwmd.com education.